In structural equation modeling, a model is actually divided into two separate models or sub-models. There are measurement models and then there are structural model. So whenever you are using SEM or structural equation modeling, in your analysis you will have measurement model and structural model. Now measurement model is used to assess the quality criteria of the constructs, that is the reliability and validity of the constructs. Now once the measurement model is assessed, the next step is that we proceed to the structural model. Now where in structural model what happens is that one assesses the relationship between two different constructs or maybe two, three, four or all the constructs in the study. So structural model is actually concerned with assessing the path or significance of the path or the structural relationship between different variables. The structural model is concerned with the influence and significance between constructs. The term full structural model means that the measurement and the structural relationship of each construct are included in the model testing. An important terminology is parameters and you will come across this term a lot in IBM SPSS AMOS. Now the term parameter indicates the size and nature of relationship between the two objects. Now here you will have a parameter estimate and here you will have parameter estimates. Now they can be fixed to a constant or they can be estimated freely in the data. Now when we are estimating our measurement model, one of the indicator or the parameter for one of the indicators is fixed while others are estimated freely. Now a parameter estimate will take place on the measurement level with the indicators and error terms as well as on the structural level between the constructs. So here you will see your parameter estimates and on the measurement level you will see the parameter estimates here and with the error terms as well. 